As you work on your materials takeoff, there are several tools available in the software to help make you more effective and more efficient in navigating through your plans and thus through your project. One of the most effective of these tools is the ability to open multiple digitizer windows. This can be most effective for you to use when you have multiple screens available to you on your system, but even in a single screen environment, it can be very useful. Let's say that you want to see multiple pages at the same time. For example, here's a section page from the project, and perhaps we need to view it while at the same time we're working on the foundation page. To do this, we'll come to the toolbar and click on the Open Additional Digitizer window. When we do, a second window open that's a fully functional digitizer window that we can use to navigate to different parts of the plan. So here back on the original window, we've navigated to the foundation plan, while here in the second digitizer window, we can navigate to different sections on the section page. This could be placed on a different screen or just minimized and brought up at the times and places that we need to evaluate it. If at any time you are completed with that additional digitizer window, you can get rid of it or close it simply by clicking on the red X of that window. A second tool that's available for use to make you more effective as you navigate through your plan is the bookmark feature. This can be useful to allow you to easily return to a specific area of the plan for reference. For example, here on the sections page, if we come to this corner, we can see that there is an interior brace panel section. And if we need to be able to return there from time to time to evaluate it, we can create a bookmark for it. To do this, we'll click on the bookmarks icon in the toolbar and we'll give the bookmark a name. In this case, we'll call it the interior brace panel. And since we don't want to use this as a snapshot and just want to use the bookmark functionality, we'll uncheck the box. We'll click OK, and then we can click once and drag our box around the area where we want the bookmark to be at. Notice in the lower left hand corner that in the bookmarks section, our interior brace panel bookmark has been created. Now, if we're located in a different area of the plan, making our changes and updating our project, if we want to return to that specific location, we simply click on the bookmark and we're immediately returned to that specific place in the plan. A similar tool is the snapshot feature, which allows you to view a specific portion of the plan off to the side. For example, let's say that we wanted to be able to view these specific schedules off to the side without having to view the entire page. Again, we'll click the bookmark button and we'll give it a name. In this case, we'll call it schedules. And this time we'll leave the checkbox checked for creating a snapshot. We'll click OK and we'll box around the area that we want to capture a snapshot of. After completing that, notice again down in the bookmark section that there is a schedules snapshot that's been created as noted by the camera icon. Now we can navigate to other portions of the plan to continue our work. But if we ever want to pull up that schedules snapshot, we simply click on it in the bookmark section and a separate window appears. This window can be placed off to the side on a separate screen and held open as long as it is necessary. By making use of the bookmark, snapshot, and multiple digitizer window features, you can make yourself more effective, efficient, and accurate as you work on your takeoffs.